ground elastomeric insulator process, or WEI, is rapidly proving to be a cost-effective, versatile method for fabricating solid rocket motor composite case insulators. Hercules Incorporated conceived this process in 1980 and began an independently funded program that brought the WEI process from concept definition through initial development. In November 1982, Hercules received a method and manufacturing technology contract from Army Missile Command at Redstone Arsenal to develop and demonstrate the WEI process using Pershing II solid rocket motor cases. While optimizing the WEI formulation and process under this contract, Hercules independently demonstrated the potential of this process by successfully firing a Pershing II first stage WEI motor in mid-1983. The WEI process allows the insulator to be fabricated on a mandrel as part of the overall case manufacturing process. This provides more flexibility in design and schedule, leading to lower cost and improved performance. This film illustrates the Hercules WEI process as it was developed for Pershing II insulators. The process begins with preparation of the mandrel to receive the extruded insulation material. For the first and second stages of Pershing II, the winding mandrel is fabricated using steel segments. These segments allow the mandrel to be removed from the cured case. After it has been assembled from the steel segments, the entire mandrel is covered with Teflon tape. This tape creates a surface on the mandrel that prevents it from sticking to the cured insulator. Metal bearing rings covered with molded rubber called pre-molds are installed on the forward and aft ends of the taped mandrel. These pre-molds provide a cured elastomeric surface for beginning the insulation wrapping process. The mandrel is then installed in the rotating stocks of the winding machine. This winding machine has the capacity to wind insulators up to 150 inches in diameter and 30 feet long, a size limit that encompasses all current strategic solid rocket motors. The final step before insulator winding is the application of a contact cement. The cement creates a surface that allows the extruded insulator to stick to the Teflon. Strips of elastomeric insulation are formed by a cold feed rubber extruder. Extrusion temperatures are controlled by a fluid heat transfer system in five different zones. The feed box, the screw, and three sections of the extruder wall. A fine meshed screen is placed between the end of the screw and the die to keep foreign materials out of the extruded strip. The final dimensions of the extruded strip are regulated by a temperature controlled roller die system and a special camera sensor. The roller die consists of two cylindrical rolls. The width of the extruded strips is controlled by the camera, which senses variations and provides feedback to the extruder control system. The WEI process begins when a continuous strip of specially formulated insulator rubber is fed into the extruder feed box. After the strip passes through the roller dies, a conveyor system takes it to the applicator. The strip is applied and attached first to the metal mandrel and then to previously wound strips by pressure wheels called stitchers. A programmed microprocessor controls the thickness of the insulation by determining the rate of application of the strip and the rate at which the applicator head travels over the mandrel surface. Thickness is controlled continuously by varying the relationship between the mandrel rotation and the applicator travel over the mandrel surface. The insulator winding process begins at one of the pre-molds and continues over the dome, moving down the cylindrical section and ending on the final burn surface near the center line of the mandrel. Then the applicator head is moved to the other pre-mold and the remaining portion of the insulator is wrapped. At the termination points of each winding, the two wrappings are joined and slightly overlapped. 
An automated mechanical thickness profiler measures the thickness of the uncured insulator at programmed intervals. Thickness inspection takes place after the wrapping process is complete. Insulator thickness is calculated automatically by a computer and compared against Pershing II tolerance limits. Mandrope plugs are covered with insulator material during winding that must be cut off before they can be removed. This is done using a specially designed skive cutting tool. When the plugs are removed, pre-molded integral thrust reversal adapters are installed. Gaps left between the insulator and adapter are filled with an uncured rubber strip, which is applied until it is flush to the insulator. When these steps are completed, the mandrel is removed from the WEI machine and moved to a filament winding machine. Case winding is done using the same method as that used for molded insulators, except the case is wound over an uncured insulator rather than a cured one. After case winding, the completed case and insulator are co-cured in a single step using the standard Pershing II thermal microwave cure schedule. After curing, the metal mandrel is disassembled and the pieces are removed via the aft port. During case machining, the composite that covers the thrust reversal ports is removed by specially designed port cutters. The WEI process is an excellent example of a superior manufacturing technology developed through the teamwork of the Army and Hercules. The WEI has undergone full-scale demonstration in the Pershing II solid rocket motor composite cases. Continued development and design modifications will expand and broaden the applications of the WEI process, allowing shorter lead times, decreased costs, and improved solid rocket motor performance for Pershing II as well as other U.S. strategic defense systems.